Hey guys, welcome to Infostock Junction. In this video, we will talk about a Hungarian noblewoman named Elizabeth Bottery, who has been tagged as the most prolific female murderer in history by Guinness World Records. But before we jump onto the video, please subscribe to this channel for more such interesting content. Elizabeth Bottery, although having quite an English name, was actually a Hungarian noblewoman, who came from one of the most reputed families in the country at that time. The Bottery family, which is still alive to this day. Elizabeth Bottery was born on a family estate in Nierbator, Kingdom of Hungary, in 1560, and spent her childhood at Ext Castle. The Bottery family owned land in modern-day Hungary, Slovakia, Romania, and basically ruled the entire area of Transylvania. The family was also strongly related to the King of Poland, the Grand Duke of Lithuania, and the Prince of Transylvania. Elizabeth Bottery was extremely privileged. She was taught Latin, German, and Greek, and afterwards was able to read and write in four languages. However, whenever her classes got finished, or sometimes during her classes, she always had to witness the evil side of her family their devotion to Satanism and witchcraft. Elizabeth's parents used to order their servants, to painfully persecute unruly workers to death, while chanting satanic phrases. In 1575, Bottery was married to Ferenc Nodesti, the son of a baron, and a member of the aristocracy. Approximately 4,500 guests were invited to their wedding. The Holy Roman Emperor, himself sent the couple a wedding gift and a congratulatory letter, in 1578, Nodesti became the chief commander of Hungarian troops, leading them to war against the Ottomans. With her husband away at war, Bottery managed business affairs and the estates. Nodesti had a good reputation, he always wanted to make sure nothing happened to his wife, allowing Elizabeth to do anything she wanted, including murder. Since she was brought up in a house full of violence, Satanism and witchcraft, she desperately wanted to practice herself. Elizabeth asked Nodesti to build her a torture chamber, and to please his wife, he sent his best builders, to build a mighty torture chamber according to her specifications. After the chamber was built, she ordered her workers to kidnap young servant girls. According to the testimonies, Bathory's initial targets were servant girls aged between 10 and 14. She then sent them down to her chambers, to kill and torture them. Bathory's torture included jamming pins and needles under the fingernails of her victims, and tying them down, smearing them with honey, and leading them to be attacked by bees and ants. In another incident, she stuck hundreds of big needles in a single girl, and drank the blood leaking out of it. There are reports that, she would sometimes rip the girl's mouths apart using her own hands. She also liked burning her victims. She used to hold candles to their genitals, and set them on fire. She also liked to burn them with hot metal rods. In the winter, she stripped down a girl in her courtyard, where cold water was thrown onto her so that she would freeze to death, and make her into statue. After her husband, Ferenc Nodesti died in the year 1604, she becomes much more evil than before. Instead of just servants, young women began to disappear from villages, as well as children, as young as age of three. These victims had been lured to the estate, by offers of work as maids or servants in the castle, but were never seen again. Later, Bottery was said to have killed the daughters of the lesser gentry, sent by their parents to learn courtly etiquette and social advancement. Bottery was said to have enjoyed drinking the blood of virgins, believing that it would preserve her beauty and youthfulness. She also used to bathe in the blood of young girls. According to the story, she developed such violent behavior after slapping a female servant in anger, and discovered her skin looked younger where the servant's blood splashed on her. After Elizabeth ran out of young women from lower class of the society, then she began to turn her torture on young girls from noble class and this was the beginning of her demise. After the disappearance of noble girls, King Matthias assigned Thurzo, the Palatine of Hungary, to investigate. Thurzo took statements from people living around her estate, including the testimony of more than 300 witnesses and survivors. Elizabeth's atrocities were further verified by physical evidence of mutilated, dying or dead victims at the time of her arrest. She was accused of killing around 650 young girls and children. Her servants who were forced to help her, were sentenced to death, but Elizabeth was spared from trial and execution, as this would have caused a public scandal, an influential family which ruled Transylvania, would be disgraced. 
Instead, she was ordered to be imprisoned for life, in a room in her own castle, that was boarded up with tiny slits for food and air. Elizabeth died in the year 1914, three and a half a year after her arrest. After her death, Elizabeth Pottery went down in history as one of the most evil women in the history. So this is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching, but before you leave, let me know what you guys think about this weird fact in the comment section below, if you like the video then don't forget to press the like button, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel for more such content.